Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the approval process in Zoho CRM. So once you log into your Zoho CRM system, of course you come to the home screen. Now from here you want to go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So we'll press the cog and then from here we want to go to process management and then to the approval process. Now the approval process is really useful. It essentially allows or puts records in a situation where they require approval before they can be used. This can be um, a great way of ensuring that only useful records are added into the system and we can set this approval process anytime a record is added into the Zoho CRM system by a user or anytime a record meets a certain criteria and that then indicates that it requires approval. So in order to create a new approval process, we need to press the add approval process here. And then we can select the module that the records are going to sit in that we that will require approval. So in this instance, and I'm going to run you through an example, I'm going to, I'm going to set lead records that are, have an annual revenue equal to or less than £10,000 a year requirement for approval. Um, and the reason being in this example, let's say that the business may not be worth the time spent by the sales manager or the sales representative um, when trying to sell them a product because they're probably not earning enough, but they can approve it or not approve it dependent on whether they see fit or whether it would be a good use of time. So I'm going to select the leads module as our module and then give it a name. I'm just going to call this test as our example. And then we can set a description if applicable. And then we can decide when we'd like to execute our approval process. So we can either execute when the record is created, when a record is edited and created, or just when a record is edited. But I'm going to set this to record creation. And then I'm going to press add this rule, add rule to this process. So it's essentially going to ask me to add a rule or eligibility criteria. So in this instance, like I mentioned, for our example, I'm going to select our annual revenue is equal to or less than £10,000. So if the lead's annual revenue is equal to or less than £10,000, I then need to set who should approve or at least review this particular record. And then you can select users, roles, groups, levels, manager or record owners. In this instance, I'm going to select role and I'm going to say CEO. So the CEO in this very wacky instance is going to have to approve the, um, the, the, the record. And then you can also say that you'd like to assign a task and then you can create a task, but unfortunately I don't have one available to select, but that would be another really useful feature for it to pop up to say that they need to complete this. So we can then decide actions upon approval. So let's say the, um, let's say the, uh, the CEO has approved this particular record. They then can do a variety of different things or at what actions that are performed after the record has been approved. So they don't have to do it themselves, it's just done automatically by the system. So as an example for this particular example, I'm gonna choose update fields. Now I want to update the lead status and I want to put it into pre-qualified. So I'm saying that when the lead gets approved, these updated state lead feed Updated field lead status is equal to pre-qualified. You can also set assigned tasks, email notifications, you can call web hooks and functions. So there are also a number of other really useful tools that can happen when a, when a lead is approved. And then we can also set actions upon rejection. So to, to counter what I set up for my approval, I'm gonna update the field status lead status and I'm going to set that value to junk lead and then I'm going to press done. So if the um, if that particular record is not approved, it, the lead status is then equal to junk lead. And again, you've got cool web hooks, cool functions and email notifications. So once you've decided on the criteria, who approves it, the actions upon approval and actions upon rejection, all you need to do then is press the done button and then just press save unless you'd like to add another rule, which you then follow the exact same process again. We will press the save button, and then from there we can see now we've got our new test approval process running, and, and we can change the status to off or on if we'd like to, 
And that is how we would manage and approve records inside our Zoho CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the approval process in Zoho CRM. Uh, if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.